What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, picking up where we left off, um, we ended the last episode, I think it was over here, uh, and now we gotta decide. We either gotta go north, east, or south, and based on the health pools we saw earlier, I think south is gonna be the best bet, because we were testing all the way down here, and there's like, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff on the, the southern continent, so let's go explore that first. Uh, also, I mean, I was so preoccupied with trying to learn about the Great Rune last night, I didn't even realize all I had to do was rest, and here it is, Great Runes. So, uh, you can equip Great Runes to have their power restored, you can use a Rune Arc to give even greater benefits to your equipped runes. So, right now, um, I wanna, I'm testing some stuff. Let's do, alright, those are 9-9, 9-15-9. Nine, 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 I think, because based on the fact that we used an Arc before and our health went up, but then our health went down, I think they function almost as like an ember in this game. So I think it's like you pop one, and you have that buff, and then when you die, that buff's gone. So we are going to try using that when we need a heal to see what happens. Uh, and then we'll take things from there. And I have... Oh, it's out in the field from fighting that guy. I think it was only like... Let me look. Let me look. I think it wasn't a lot. I think it was like a hundred or something. Let me see. Uh, oh, it was zero. I didn't even pick up my stuff when I died, so we don't even got to worry about going back there. All right, dope. So let's um, got past this bridge. Fight my way up top there. Right, can I like hardcore parkour up? That looks like I might survive it. Man, it's gonna take a while to re-gauge uh, fall distances. Like, you know, what's what's gonna kill you versus what isn't. See a glowy thing up ahead. Are we just going to a dungeon? This looks like it's leading somewhere. Earthbore Cave. Let's go, baby. Brand new dungeon that I have not been in before. Um, check other weapons. I should use this. Oh, and I have the tier. Definitely using both of those. 2416. Maybe I should work towards that. I don't know. I really need to decide because, like, if I want to go for Super Mega Axe, those were some thick requirements. Um, but I'm a faith character, and I probably, you know, I when I tend to play this thing, thing when I when I play Souls games, um. What I tend to do, not enough golden seeds. Wait, what? What do I have? I thought I had a golden seed. Uh. I mean, I, I have one. Why is it not letting me do that? That's that's odd. Um. Let me. Hang on. Let me see. Maybe I need to reallocate them? Oh no, use two golden seeds. Damn. Okay, never mind. Uh, use sacred tier. So we got that. One, okay, that's good. Um, you know, generally I'll make one character of an archetype, like one faith character, one magic character. Oh no, oh no! Hello. Um. What I was saying is, you know, I'm probably only gonna do, like, this is probably gonna be my faith guy. So it would make sense to. All 
I can't see nothing. Like, it makes sense. I need to invest in faith. Because if I'm going to have a character that I get the, the badass faith spells on and, and incantations and all that, this would be that character. So, as much as I want to try out the... Uh, Mega Axe of Destruction. I mean, stat-wise, that's, that's kind of closer to a quality weapon. I want to get back up top and get that chest. There's the stake, which means we're probably getting close to the top. Yes, indeed. Okay. What do we got in you? Pickled Turtleneck. I found a couple Turtleneck things. I think they're all crafting materials. No. Ooh, stamina recovery. Oh, baby. Um. I mean, I don't, yeah, I do have my hammer. <clears throat> I have my hammer, and if I stay where I'm at now, I could stick with this, focus on uh, health, stamina, and then faith. That might be the play for this character. You know, not not worry about casting speed necessarily. Because the spells are super nice. Like even even for you know, not very significant instances like that, like oh there's you know, two things. Let me just throw out a fireball and take them out. Uh. I hear... That's a big bear. You've defeated... Go oh shit, that, that's the bear fight. I was gonna make a joke about like, you have defeated... God! You've defeated the Lord, Godric the Grafted, but can you beat Bear? And the answer is probably no! Sorry! Sekiro has taught me not to discount giant animals. He's trying to bear hug me. He bear hugged me! Oh my god, dude, no. Thing's terrifying. I'm pretty sure I could beat that if I just, I don't know, it was super aggressive. I'm thinking if I just like get up in its face and just, just beat, you know, not. That was like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna sneak up and fireball it and oh, there's some loot down here. No, I need to just, I need to pop my summon and go crazy town on Rune Bear. Very easy run back to him at least. from this guy. Yeah. 
Damn, bro. He's even going really hard on the, the little summons. I didn't get them out. That that threw me off. I thought they were out. Imagine my surprise when I discovered they weren't. So we can just drop through that hole, run past these guys, drop down, and we're there. I need to get my fanged imps out. Guessing that is yes, magic negation. What is this? Max equipment load. I uh, don't need that right now, but that's good to have. Yeah, as much as I want to do a guard counter style of play, I need. I mean, I'm way better off just charging and smashing stuff at the moment. Because the thing is, I don't really have. I don't have the stamina, or not the stamina. I don't have the poise needed. Uh, to to play guard counter, but maybe we could get it. You take me to 12. You're the best I got. You take me to 14. You take me 23, but with a heavy load. It's my health, 606. If I take you off, oh, it's a little bit, it's like 30. Let's do that. Since I'm, I'm going for a heavy thing, I'm probably going to want that. And it might be a uh, percentage-based bonus, similar to Havel's Ring. So that's probably worth doing. Um, blood loss. Buildup of sleep. Got three pots. Poison darts. Oh, cool, I can craft fire grease. Okay, well, shit. Load your boy up. Um, reduce fall damage and sound. All right, we gotta switch some stuff up. So those two, um, my summon, let me, so, this I use a ton. This... I think I put my summon on. And then... No, we'll put the summon up. And then if I need you, we'll do that. Because I feel like I don't want to accidentally use those, you know? What else would I put on? Whoa, what was that? That was that was uncomfortable. Every time I hear something like that happening, I'm like, what is going on with my game? Please don't tell me you're about to crash. Stuff like that stresses me the, the, the hell out. I think we don't put anything there for now. So I can hotkey to get my summons out. And then over here, I want to test that mechanically. And then we have fire grease. 
Now we have fire bombs. And the fire bombs are recraftable. I really want to start doing more with the crafting, because that's, you know, that's something we've never had in a Souls game, and I feel like I've largely ignored it up until now. If I can just make make fire grease and fire bombs, I'm gonna start using those a bunch. Uh Okay, it's a little weird. By the way, this whole episode, um, we're just gonna be exploring this, this southern region. I don't know what it's called. But, that's what we're doing. That looks like a world boss fight or something. Yeah, I can target him. Okay. Um, kind of want to let me, let me see if I can find a grace somewhere nearby before I start fighting giant looking dudes that are probably going to kill me. Faith not crystal tear. Boosts faith and mixed physic. Oh, cool. I still haven't found the thing for mixed physic. Big boy. I can test this. How does fire work on you? That's okay. Doesn't have the, uh, you know, fire kill plant life shattering effects that I thought it might. I can summon my little dudes up. Gotta be a sight of grace somewhere nearby. Demi human forest ruins. Okay. Send up here. I think I could get to the Erd tree going that way. Coming south seems like it was definitely the right bet based on the, the stuff that we're fighting out here, though. Like, nothing out here seems like, oh, man, you should turn your ass around, whereas there was a lot of that in some other areas. Mausoleum prowls. Weirdo.
It's the Church of Pilgrimage. Church of LA. Um, Smoldering Church. Hey, let's go. Use that right now. Very nice. That is the area I came from. Still don't know how to get down to the beach right there. I feel like there's a way. I don't know if I jump down there, that's still going to be too high. Let me see if there's like a, a way I can hop down over on this side. What is this? Warhawk ashes. Those are probably really good. Um, it's looking, it's almost like he was looking at a picture. It's looking from a gravestone to the Erd tree. That's the cliff and the castle. Wait, is that it? Water, the cliffside, or a tree in the background. Huh. Okay, 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 okay. Um Man, these long falls. I don't know if I'll ever get used to it to be honest. Witching Branch, Golden Runes, Sliver of Meat. I'm getting away from where I wanted to go, but this looks like it leads somewhere on its own. faith about this right now. Damn it! That looked, it looked good, right? Like, oh, you jump down there and then you can jump over and then there's the, you know, the hidden seaside cave that no one could find. Son of a bitch. Gilded iron shield, that sounds cool.
Shit. Fuck my poise. I don't have poise. Thank God for that ability, man. Without Stomp, I'd be in some serious trouble. The question is like, why come all the way down here? I guess, I mean, well, I guess there doesn't have to be a, a treasure at the end of every path. It could just be like, hey, here's a cool cliff face you can run down and explore. But I do think I can go down to make my way onto the beach. We're going to try that. Where was that first drop that I took? Was it here? I think it was. Uh, what? That was a critical road. What the? Feel feel a little robbed about that. That did not feel like a critical fall. It's honestly like one of the one of the few things that um the more I notice it, the more I'm like mm, you know I don't know how I feel about that design change because like there are some falls that are like you know just ridiculous that you can fall from and survive and then on the flip side there are falls like that where they don't feel that high at all but they're gonna kill you and so it's I don't know it's like figuring out like, I feel like there needs to be a better, I don't, I don't know. I guess trial and error is all we have to determine if a fall is critical or not, but I don't know, man. Personally, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't feel like trial and error when it comes to death is the, the best teacher. I mean, against boss fights, sure, but. Like that looked, that looked promising to me, but yes, no. I wonder if there's, um, Wonder if there's a uh, a mechanic of you know like dropping dropping a uh, a prism stone or something because I can one hundred percent get over there. Unless it's like a tunnel system thing let me hop over here real fast I think I might be able to make my way down that cliff side
Um, I don't know. I'm I'm running out of ideas to get down there. Go over here. View it from a different angle. See if there's like a ledge or something, maybe. A hidden staircase. Uh, somebody else tried and did not make it. That's helpful. Get over to there. Well, I don't know if you avoid fall damage landing on those. Visions of Tranquility. Now, I can ride the coast around. Maybe I ride the coast around and then I use that thing to jump my way up to somewhere. should probably go buy the telescope from the merchant just for, you know, seeing things like this. Alright, so this is a shortcut up. I hit this jump, and that jump puts me up there, and then that puts me over. Absolutely need more points. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Yeah. Yeah, it's not not what we're looking for. Come on, give me my map. Give me the map. There we go. We go by him. I'm gonna buy the thing, the telescope. Those are good. Waypoint ruins. Flask of Wondrous Physic. Does that tell me where to find it?
Uh, ew. Oh, it's a small shield. Still remains in the third church of Marika, north of the Mistwood. Cross the highway bridge and follow the animal trail north. Third church of Marika, north of the Mistwood. So, church of LA. North of the Mistwood. Church of Irith. I think it's it's up here. So that's that's good. I know that there's a wondrous physic up there. This would be a good slot to put my thing in. And then this, I can use my, uh, I'm gonna fall item. I just, I hate when I see areas and I'm like, oh, there's, there's stuff there, but I can't figure out how to get to said stuff. Drives me nuts. So there's a campfire there, which would suggest a merchant. I don't see a path over from there. There's a path right there. This looks like all water that'll kill you. I can't survive. Yeah, I fell down to there, and that killed me. I get over there? No, it's still, still gonna be lethal. That looked like the best bet. Like, I was thinking there, down to there, down to there, down to there. But I died jumping down to there. It doesn't make any sense. Let me, let me try this, because I couldn't get this area back in the closed network test either. And it, it bothers me. It bothers me because it looks reachable. And so I'm like, oh, I can reach that. But then it's like, no, I can't reach that. That looked like it was going to work. It, I, I got invisible walled. Come on, Miyazaki, why are you doing this to me? I have supported you since day one, ever since we met the E3. I said, I love your work. And then put my arm around you, and I could tell you were uncomfortable. But how many people can say they have touched Miyazaki san? Not many. We made it! We made it! Doing the hop technique. Okay, okay, okay. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. I'm having second doubts about that. Oh, hello. That... That looks promising. Gonna see how tall that looks. Probably 15 feet off the ground. What about over here? That looks about the same, but it looks taller somehow.
I'm gonna get down. This is gonna be it. Okay, we're almost, almost there. We've come so far now, I'm just nervous. I'm like, what if I, I jump and that, that final jump is a critical fall? Oh! Oh, we're good. <laughs> Alright, we made it. Down to the beach. Let's go. We're having some soft shell crab for dinner tonight, boys. Episodes like this, I don't know what to title them. Like, I guess just like exploring South Limgrave. Is it still Limgrave technically? Whoa, 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 gravity? My dude manipulated gravity? I threw me for a loop for a second. Ash of War Gravitas. Okay. We had a chance to use that back in the network test and it didn't feel all that good. Tell you what, though, it freaked me out for a second. I was like, oh, what is this guy doing to me? Okay, I'm feeling really good about that. Um, well, it's an area that I, I've been wanting to get to and we got it. Good. Good progress. Um, let's, so I kind of want to sneak up this way, but let's go do this demi-human place first. Fight that boss thing that we found, the world boss. Um, I can't pull up the map because there's things. I think it was like down. Yeah, it was this way. It was past the flower. Demi-human queen staff and crystal burst. Hmm. 
Two more of those arteria leaves. Uh, okay. Well, I know there's there's like something if we follow that cliff ledge. We're gonna save that for the next part. I'm gonna kind of stay along the ground level and see what else we can find. Head, head south, southeast. Looks like this area seems to be pretty popular with the demi-humans. That'll take me up. What about over here, though? Ooh. Morn Tunnel. I wonder if this like goes all the way to Castle Morn. That would be pretty cool. And there is a hidden path I just saw there. Do I have enough to level up? I don't think so. Just some smithing stone. Uh, well, it's nice that uh, there's a path down. Areas like this, this gives me uh, some serious stone fang tunnel vibes. Maybe they'll come up the tunnel, say hello. It's not the counter-attack, but it actually makes them bounce, which is useful. Somber smithing stone. 
gotta start deciding what I want to put those into. I'm thinking the Faith Fists. The power of fuck you! This has the same vibes as that chest that teleported me down into that cave earlier. I wonder if there's one that brings you here. It's like, uh, Corvians. Oh boy. It's making me very uncomfortable. I like this thing, but it is really slow. Too slow. And the range is suck. Looks like a boss door. That's where I came from, right? Yeah. Down here, soft cotton. All right, and I guess the shortcut is just dropping straight down and going to the boss fight. Some more somber smithing. That has you open me up and you fight a boss written all over it. Okay, um here goes nothing. This is the boss fight. Wow, okay. Um, I figured that was gonna be like a, oh, you kill him and now something rises from this pile of whatever that is. Breezy baby, that was easy. Anything else in here? No? Cool. Alright, well, let's warp out. Um, we're gonna wrap this one up since we're coming up on that hour mark. Good chunk of exploring. It was good for the 
the first episode of the day. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, it is. All right. So, yeah. Um, we're going to do more exploring next time. I want to... I haven't looked right here. And I also want to see what's over here. So, those are going to be our focal points in the next episode. Uh, before we wrap, I think that's a weapon. Rusted anchor. It's a great axe. CE scaling. Wow, that thing is big. Kind of cool looking. Uh, anyway, wrapping up though. Y'all stay tuned. We'll have more Elden Ring coming your way soon enough.